Uh, Manny, did you ever have read any cover letters at Lucas? And if so, tips for do's and don'ts. Uh, yeah, absolutely we did. But, you know, the cover letter doesn't really, I don't know. Cover letter is not super important. Uh, the cover letter is more for the production team. Those are the guys that read that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, the the art directors and art leads uh, will also read it, but it's not as important, you know? Like, it's more about your portfolio and really getting to know you in person, you know? If uh, they fly you out to the interview and see how you respond to feedback and uh, your knowledge of the game that they're working on, their IP, art style, which other things you can do besides what you prioritize in. So if you can, they can use you for different parts of the, of the development cycle. And yeah, just really getting along with the team is super, super big deal. But yeah, cover letters? I don't know. I mean, if you want to extend to some of the things that I just mentioned, like uh, mentioning... Um, mentioning the IP that they're working with and how it relates with the stuff that you are that you have done on your portfolio or in your past to show that you can work and start, you know, like right off the bat, you can do what they're doing and help them out. Um, it also shows interest, how much you know about their company and things like that, so I'd say maybe push a little bit of that in. Oh no man, I haven't thought about what the name is gonna be for this set. No idea. Buddy? Look, a wet dog. Anything else say? Yeah, no problem, order. And your resume with the career services dude. Where are you applying? Let's see if we can pull this up. I think I want to hide this cape. Just gonna get in the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the idea for this uh, hair strands is that they're being actually kind of clipped together with uh, some little leather bands or leather straps. So maybe like around there and maybe just two. There maybe. Then on the back, we can go on the station points. We have like a few over here, maybe larger ones. That looks like a good spot for one, maybe one there. As we go down here, we can do... There on there. Kind of offset them a little bit. There. There. We put something on the tip, some of them. They might look pretty cool. Pocket gems. to go horizontal like that we're gonna need a lot more subdivisions but I think that might look pretty good it won't be able to be that big it's just spacing spacing test all right let's put our undo 
Oh, it bugs out a little bit with my undo history. So let's take those guys off. Okay. Uh, we'll probably need a few more subdivisions anyway. I went ahead and subdivided. Sorry, just kind of blocking in where the hair strengths are gonna go. What we want to do with this hair strands is kind of twist them around so they feel a lot more natural. Try not to go like crazy large because it's going to add volume to our brush. We'll have to scale it down a little bit when we do the baking. Or just scale up the low poly, bake to that and then put that texture on the unscaled uh, low poly that we had before. And it'll be pretty good. It'll, it'll line up good. What's up, Moose Death? Really want to do animations for Legion? Oh man, we'll check this out. This out. Hey, hey, hey. Hey man, what's up? You are hey, well. live workshop. Hey, welcome into webs. <laughs> uh, hold on, let me just stop the streams and everything and get ready. Let me know when <clears> you're <throat> uh, good to go and I'll throw you on. Right, a little bit of a dual stream tonight. Abyss is going to be working on some of the animations, the new animations for our Legion Commander set. I'm wow, actually I work... the hair. Hmm? Well, I'm actually doing the cape right now, but I'm also showing oh. my screen right now. Oh, it's right. already s everything set up. So. All right, cool. I'll throw you on. Let me just yeah. Let me just uh, get the stream on my phone so I can actually look at the comments. Oh. You know. I'm gonna be social and all that. Am I talking to Obama? <laughs> Thanks, Obama. What? I don't know. I guess you sound like Obama to them. This is not the first time someone's called me black on, like, based on my voice. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Seriously? He's like the whitest guy ever. <laughs> like, I, I pretty much like glow in the dark and people <laughs> telling me I'm, I sound black. That's hilarious. Holy hell. Well, I guess I can have a career in voice acting. <laughs> Especially if you do Irish accents. Black Irish accents. <laughs> he does the worst Irish accents ever, and we laugh all the time. It's hilarious. Hey, I do it on purpose. I know, I know.
What's a good first step on a good form of self-training for someone who's in interested in doing this? Uh, okay, so you want to grab... Uh, if you're a student, you can grab any Autodesk package, 3D package. Uh, they're free for students, non-commercial versions. And with those, you can start learning and uh, checking out like beginner tutorials on YouTube and Vimeo and uh, all sorts of sites like that. Uh, and start learning the, the very basics, like learning low polygon edges, vertices, like how to extrude cod polygons, all, all, all that. And at the same time, you want to learn the UI of said application. If you're not a student, you can get that. You can get Blender, which is a free 3D application that is very robust for, a <clears throat> excuse me, for being free. Uh, and yeah, those are your first steps, man. Uh, also, all Autodesk programs actually have a very nice like learner base. They actually have like tutorials and everything in their instruction manuals. Whom? So, what? Who's that? Autodesk. Like all the Autodesk products. Oh. Like all of them yeah. have extend extended libraries of tutorials. Yeah. It, just press F1 and you'll find everything in, on there. Yeah, sometimes they're not step by step. So they'll maybe be a little difficult for new people to follow those uh, those along because they kind of sometimes they jump right into uh, a lot of uh, descriptions of things that you have no idea what they mean. Well, they have chapters. I mean, it's not that complicated actually. Like, no, I mean, but uh, what, what I'm saying is they don't really explain what the things do. They're just like, "Here's how you do it," and they're like, "Well, what the hell do I do with that kind of thing?" Right? Like, it's uh, if you're new to the thing, it's I've, I I mean, when I got started, I found that a little bit confusing. So. Um, that's why I just say, you know, if uh, if you watch some beginner tutorials on YouTube or whatever, that will explain all the stuff that is in the manual that uh, Biz just mentioned. That it is, it is very useful, but sometimes it's a little, a little confusing. Yeah, it, it, sometimes like people don't like think about it. Like someone else without the, that prior knowledge is like look, will be looking at it, so they just like, yeah, you do this and this, and then and that and that, and it happens, and you're like coming as a fresh one, like a fresh guy in there, and you're like. Wait, what is how? But how do I do that? Yeah, they skip a lot of stuff. Yeah. I think they they expect you to know already some things, and for new people, they'll be like, "Wait, how did he do that step? You kind of skipped it." Um, that's that's like the same thing I ran into like last week with the with the faced uh, morph thingy with the mm -hmm. script I found. Yeah, there you go. Like, the, like the script works wonderfully. It allows you to like uh, try like. Uh, take the, the, the face blends off of one model and transport them to another one and it's marvelous, it works wonderfully. The only problem is they don't actually tell you how to create the setup file that you need to actually get the thing running. They, they have a one that's already in there for a tutorial but they don't actually tell you how to create it. So it's like, and previously you have to have this. It's like, okay, yeah, you need like how? a prerequisite clasp kind of for some of those uh, yeah. F1 guides. <laughs> well, uh, I tried looking into the code of the whole thing, though. It was in uh, Chinese or uh, Japanese, I'm not too sure. So right. that was very helpful. Yeah, yeah, you were telling me that. <laughs> it's always nice to make footnotes in your, your scripts and have them in a foreign language. Well, not a very common one, I guess. <laughs> oh hey, what's up, Elge? I know, man. Welcome back. As you said, uh, we finished the the head seabrush uh, night before last or so. We also did the shoulder item. Well, half of it. Uh, this shield is completely in the way. what we got over here started the cape a little bit uh, we uh, kind of play some color and on the bake outs for the shield it's still super super early in the shield so uh, we'll be texting that on uh, different stream it all the, the shield also comes with this gauntlet on her right arm and I've been figuring out how to do with the hair so we're doing the seabrush for the hair and we'll be doing the loincloth and the, the little shield there on her on her crotch plate hey roof get out of there Troublemaker. I know something about the new Star Wars Battlefront. 
Um, I haven't really actually t spoken to... Uh, I have a whole bunch of friends there that went after Lucas uh, closed down internally. Um, EA picked up a whole bunch of them up. So I have a lot of friends over there, I just haven't really poked them about it at all. So, nope, not really. So which touch-ups are you doing for the cape right now, Abyss? Uh, so what I did last night, I actually saw it, uh, and people can see it in here, in Trees Max, is I actually like added a whole bunch more bones to the cape. Uh, we had a problem where it wasn't like moving as smooth as we wanted to in the game, and we added a bunch of edge loops uh, just to help that along, but I decided to also like kind of go in there, restructure the bones a bit, maybe like fix them up so they don't stop like gliding with the ground and like spazzing out as much and hopefully that will fix it and then I now have to reskin everything which is lovely to even more bones now so that's that's gonna be fun as skinning is very fun as we all know we'll show you guys in game in a bit I've already booked his days of work for uh, the new Star Wars opening there. <laughs> That's cool, man. Oh, Pink Ninja, I'm gonna try and get us to go at the Lucas Theater and so we can watch it there. Hey Gruntleberry, welcome. Surrender for. No, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to uh, swing a, a couple, of, couple of uh, seats, man. Sorry. <laughs> no, Serenifor is just saying he'll let you sit in your uh, in his lap. <laughs> That's like a trap. Yep.
Run hard. Right now we're just doing kind of uh, the volumes of the hair and kind of figuring out where they go and they overlap each other and all that. So it's going to look a little rough, but we'll we'll make it all pretty afterwards. It's all just volumes and sketching kind of. We have maybe a couple. Probably. I think we're thinking about over here. Many that Templar Assassin set is yeah it's it's our slab workshop set man. Six six, good lord you guys. <laughs> Do we use Dido? No, we don't. This is gonna be annoying. The the whole limitation of like just three bones per like verse is like for doing cloth stuff is very annoying. Because you, you just can't really get the whole craft to really move as smooth as you want it, especially if it's like this low poly. something at the tip too, I don't know. We'll need some extra polygons if we do that though. At least those are good places for the leather straps we're planning. They just kinda block them in. Oh man.
way more polygons. Okay, for placeholder. Let us know that that's our place for that letter bit. The Millennium fucking had a Chevy engine. <laughs> they broke down all the time. Is the warp drive? <laughs> wow. Car took going down, man. Your car guy? For nice. me? Yeah. Not really, no. Me neither. I own a bike, let's just say that. A bicycle. <laughs> and you bicycle. I have though. a driver. Yes, actually. A very cheap one, in that. Don't say it. <laughs> I thought about it. God damn it. I thought about it. Should we bring in the folks on the joke? Go ahead. Well, I had a bicycle that was a very nice one, and it got stolen. <laughs> and now I actually found a very nice one for a very affordable price, and I decided to call it a steal. <laughs> like, dude, that's a steal. He's like, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon? Yeah, it was a good bike. <laughs> Sentimental <laughs> about it. It's always there when I go home. Yeah, well, <laughs> I actually rode it home, so it should be. <laughs> Until one fateful day where it wasn't. Not stuck. Go fix it. <laughs> What's up, Splinter? All right, hello to you, I guess. Or are they still calling you a pirate? Oh yeah. <laughs> Not gonna go into the jokes about the Mexican pirates. It's <laughs> like the ultimate combo, man. Imagine the swimming team those guys would create. <laughs> they wouldn't even have to win, they would just steal the gold, I guess, huh? Nice one. Just 
was our second bet. Uh, probably around here, I think. Mm. Maybe some of these sections have the strap, the leather strap, uh, tied a few times around. So we uh, make this section uh, thicker than the rest. Start pressing it up here. What am I doing? Jesus, just realized. Huh? Uh, I was just trying to figure out how to actually do the skinning for this thing, because it's kind of a pain in the ass to do. Especially like with the whole like three bone uh, limitation. Oh, three bone skinning? Yeah, it's a very big pain in the ass, and if you don't do it like the... When, once you export to SMD, the program does it automatically for you. So it like totally fucks it up. In, well, it's not actually the program, it's actually when you compile the MDL, it actually like uh, simplifies it, and it doesn't do a very good job of it. So you, you have to do it before that, and it's just like, but this is not how you skin cloth, it's so like, ugh, I don't know, it's weird. Like, when you test it out, like over here, you, you just can see that it's not a smooth motion, it's not like how cloth is supposed to behave, but inevitably it will, it will look good in game, so. The physics will create the, uh, the chain effect to it, right? It, it should, but I'm just like thinking for the most extreme cases, you know? Like, like this would be easier if like the entire cape only had like one chain of bones. But then the whole cape would weird would move very weirdly. Well, we'd all move at it, once instead of pulling away like cloth does. Yeah. But just like trying to skin that properly without any like you you basically can't have any overlapping like bone weights, which is very stupid. Like from one chain to the other because you're over the three bone limit. Oh, is the bass a little too loud on your mic, you guys? I'll just move my mic a bit away. Yeah, there I'll, you I'll turn you down a little bit. No, 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 no. I'll have to turn nope. up the music. I, I can better? see the volume kicking it. Okay. Oh, I, I hope I wasn't yelling. That would be kind of annoying. Well, I said my, my uh, volume settings back to uh, single streams. Oh. Know? Oh, so yeah, then, yeah, yours is good. we're gonna be out a little bit, but there, I, sh I should have fixed that. Should be good to go now, guys. Oh, you weren't talking about the stream? Oh, but I did notice that the volume was a little bit off. I don't think we'll have the polygons for that extra bits at the tip. Uh, we'll just leave them as hair. And for LED zero, we'll add extra little quads of Ava hair, so it spreads out a little bit nicer towards the end instead of just into the one polygon. And uh, it should look pretty good.
go into the back of the hair. Probably speed up a little bit here. Oh yeah, and she does the new idol work. Oh shit. Alright, let me uh let me scale you up man. Hold up. People can check it out. Alright. Yeah. Super defensive looks awesome. Mm-hmm. So what we're thinking of is making this the auto aggressive. So when enemies are nearby, she would uh, like take the defensive stance. And when there's she's just chilling out in base, she would be like just normally like looking at it like a badass. You know? Yeah, this is the old skinny of the cape, and there are some issues here and there. And with the new one, I think I can also go more like soft on the cloth without that much dampening so it would actually like move way smoother so it's all about to be seen like it's gonna happen tonight guys or today <laughs> whatever it is on this stream it's transparent from the inside uh yeah would, uh, i'm not sure we'll have enough volumes for lb zero but we'll try to do uh, the inside well, of it when you zoom in so you don't see uh, completely through it we, we should have enough for the Lord Zero, at least, I think. Yeah, we can also, like, it can be simplified in the inside as well. We have less polygons, so yeah. We can, yeah, we can cover up the inside. Hey, Toka, thanks for that follow, man. Oh, man, welcome, man. So we should get something like this for her auto aggressive run, uh, for her run aggressive, where she keeps the shield in front of her. And when she, yeah, when there's nobody nearby, you can throw the shield a little bit more to the side. Yeah, yeah. she'll move into just running away. Yeah, along. she's holding the, the shield and the spear kind of at the same angle, so it's just like the V. Yep. Kind of shape. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And there you go for normal run. Also, the cape should stay closer to the ground now. I kind of moved the last ball in the chain. It was kind of too low, so the cape, uh, the, the back end of the cape was like going up too much. But <clears throat> yeah, we'll see how that one works out. And uh, the angling for the back, so the, the skirt doesn't go through when she runs too. 
Uh, I think we can fix that with the way how she runs in the animations. I don't think we need to mess around too much with the cape. Just like pull in uh, the bone that's pushing the, the skirt out? Um, yeah, we can actually do that. that that's easier, actually. Huh? Yeah, because it's like takes 50% of that and 50% of the cloth on the little yeah, thing so that droops down. Yeah, just push the model so for can... the cape, but for her, her little skirt cape on the back and pull it in. Yeah, we'll just pull it in forward. Which, uh, I don't know, because like we're, we're touching all the animations on the uh, shield, so if someone just has the cape without the shield, that would still be an issue. Yeah. So maybe, so maybe we actually want to do it over here. But I can fix that without actually like changing the model. Yeah, can you I just can rotate just, like, the bones out to uh, stretch it out yourself without having to redo the, the mesh? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, like after I skin everything, I'm just going to move the bones and yeah, they'll move perfect. the mesh. And freeze that and it should be good. It's it just an issue, yeah, it should just be an issue of uh, getting the skinning to work properly, which is gonna be the annoying bit. Uh, what about the Arcana? It will work with the Arcana. The idea is that our animations actually go over the Arcana. And the whole, like, holding a sword and a shield actually, like, even the way she's holding it now, actually, like, fits with the style of how Spartans actually, like, fought with their sword. So it's all gonna work fine, guys. Don't worry about it. And the other sword will go on her hip. So, you know, it's all fine.
that song was very rock 80s kind of feel to it, even though it's you know techno. Yeah, I don't know. I, I can barely hear it over in my end. Things and homework. Hmm. Kind of homework. Well, Ram, you're working on. Uh, homework. The one thing I will never miss. C++ homework? Oh man. <laughs> or hair. Just can't get away from it. Hair or fur. Wraps. Always bring me back. Well, you're, you're on your own, buddy. Warder's learning how to rig. Well, there you go. Watch Abyss do his thing over there. Oh, this is kidding. It's not rigging, but hey. Yes, I will be a bitch about it. I hate it when people get their two mixed up. It's two totally, com completely different things. It's a part of rigging. Skinning? Uh, I guess. Rigging is, I guess, the overall. Yeah. But I mean, like, rigging also in entails that you also create skeleton. Yeah. Oh, you have the game running? I don't know if you do, Abyss. You show people uh, the live or the yeah, the life stealer animations. Oh, uh, and the yeah. Dope effects sure. we got going on for those guys. I still haven't like put in the latest textures on there, but I mean, people can see it live, so.
I think I have to swap our texture before I do that though. Yep, I gotta... Whoops! I forgot... <laughs> yeah, I forgot that I had the Hand of Midas on the Wraps texture and I swapped it out and... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you that one, it's fine. Oh no, it's actually affecting both of them? What? I really gotta sort that stuff out. Damn. Well. Hard to breathe at least. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh shit, man. Ignore all the gold. And, uh, <laughs> Dude, that's, yeah, that's a little too rough. Yeah. But at least you can see it now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the yeah, wraps are a little shiny. A, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, let me see if I can fix that. That was... was it chains? Yeah, it is his arm, so it is the chains. No way. Uh, do I even have that? Oh, uh, it is chains. Yeah, I would say, yeah. So that is orange, right? Please show this head with Arcana. People are I so particular the with their Arcanas, man. It's crazy. Yeah. It's like everyone has their Arcana or something, right? <laughs> well, that's a funny thing, man. When I play, like, I don't see most people using the Arcanas. I mean, the yeah, CM. Right? Oh, it's probably the one I've seen the most. But oh, I think that's the yeah. one that they worked on the most too, like it had the most extras, right? So I think a lot more people bought that one. Yep, uh, and they added extra stuff at, at the end with the different pop. There we go. The gold's gone. Happy now? No. No? <laughs> so the Skype quality is going to be a little bit uh, janky, guys, but I'll show you the animation. Some it's, special effects that I... we have going on for our live stealer. Yeah, blame Skype, guys. Blame yeah, Skype. Ignore the textures. They're completely... Messed up. It's all placeholder. Uh, I surely give you an update on that. Harder to ask. Yeah, that would be awesome. It's uh, all it's gray right actually now. It's really hard to see. Well, also it, right now it's using the same textures as the the chains because that's the old file from back when I was still testing stuff. So I should actually update my materials, really, uh, to rape your... So yeah, just ignore the textures and the colors I get. I'm showing you the effects right now as we show you the death stuff. Svenbot thinks a iron branch is better than a rapier. Okay. Very smart. Then stupid.
And you guys watching? Go. Good to go, guys. Watch the heart. Watch it. <laughs> So the heart falls out of the urn that is uh, being held in on his back, on a couple of his traps. And it does a few bounces and then it explodes into little bits and leaves a huge bloody mess behind it. I can actually like zoom on. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh Sven. Out of the way, Sven. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I was actually like playing around with uh, actually like using the in-game physics and have like the, the heart be kickable. So like heroes that run by can actually like kick the heart around, but ultimately it sometimes like you could kick it too hard and it would just fly off the screen. <laughs> so I thought that was like a little bit too much. Okay. So I just kept it like um, close to him. Put Sven on top. Yes. There you go. I just don't want him to. Ah no, camera! Stop it! Stop it! That camera view is horrible. Uh, let me refresh Sven because he's about to die. Okay, guys, there you go. You almost got it on camera. <laughs> I got it on camera. Come on. The uh, the vote icon kind of blocked it. <laughs> God damn it. The stream HUD. It's okay. I mean, it's hard to see the texture anyways right now, but yeah, I think people got the gist of the seeing it bounce around and uh, the effects explode. There's the bits, there's the blood. Hey. Gore and stuff, guys. Alright, uh, you wanna throw the Midas on there real quick? Yep, that's what I'm about to do. Actually, I'm gonna have to just go up to it. Uh, let me just throw the reload the map. There's the Midas glove, just moving about, spewing coins. Wait, no textures? Well, it has textures, it's just... Well, the wrong it's textures. Just that, it's just that they're the wrong textures, yes. But it's also moving, if you guys can see, thanks to the wonderful 10 frames per second we have there. Yeah, so the, so the glove is animated, and it's always dropping coins. So as the life terror moves around, you'll see them actually, they bounce on the ground and they stick on there for a few seconds. There's one. See? <laughs> it's super coins. Cool. Coins everywhere, guys. He's a piggy bank. Have a good night, Pink Ninja. Good rest. And actually, while well, this shows you that, I can show you what the actual height of Midas is gonna look like. I have a screen grab of just the texture. I almost finished. Okay guys, and this is the money shot right here. Oh, this is the death animation for when you have the Midas. Yeah, if you guys would... Okay, and now! <laughs> Love it. So yeah, the, the head of Midas gets knocked off his back when he dies, goes up flying in the air and lands on Lifestealer and turns him into gold. I think I can actually slow it down. Uh, hold on. Post. Time scale. Point. Five, I guess. Should do the trick. There goes the hand. Slam <laughs> dunk. That's amazing. Go everywhere. So cool. Uh, should we show the OT effects as they are for now? Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot about those. Yeah, let's show that. So, uh, well, hold on a second. Let me show uh, real quick. Uh, here's the head of Midas. Uh, the current textures. It's still a little bit of polish, but uh, the inside is nice and beveled in there, so that's where the coins come out. 
and we designed the top of the Handomatas from scratch because there's no really screenshots or models of the Handomatas, so uh, we just kind of took a little bit of liberty and designed the top. We kind of changed the fingers a little bit so they were a little more interesting, but kept it really, you know, uh, basically really close to the art direction of the icon, so it's recognizable like that. Uh, okay, go ahead, man. Okay, do, do I have the go ahead? Yep. Okay, so. We turn everything into sand because that's nice for us and that's the thing. Just a tiny bit. There we go. And, a little... because Ch and because China hates blood, so we went with uh, sand. Why not? So, you guys ready for this? Did Just it. waiting for Skype to. Yeah, bam! Look at the bugs. Look at the bugs. <laughs> so, even when he goes in, instead of turning into blood, he uh, turns into dust and goes inside of uh, the enemy. And when he explodes, he explodes into a storm of, of, of sand and little uh, scarabs scatter around. There we go. Look at him. So we'll play around with the colors a tiny bit. We might have to saturate the sand a tiny bit more. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's, it's getting there. It's a little, bit, the yeah, it's a little bit dusty right now. I think with a little bit more uh, saturation, we'll be there. Yep, yep, yep. But the colors are easy to reach. And actually, while you show them that, I'm gonna load up the light stealer so people can see the actual, at least the placeholder textures or the, the current textures we have instead of what you have in game right now. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. yep. Um... One second, I got you frozen for a bit. Okay. I was just gonna show the E effects. Oh yeah, yeah. For Those are missing textures as well, but you can see the, the effect actually pretty nice though. Just tell me when I'm not frozen. Alright, you're good. There you go, sandstorm and little bugs around him. <laughs> That's awesome. We might have to keep a little bit of the red on the inside part. Yeah. For gameplay. Yeah. So just the red, yeah, the bugs, and then the dust. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 I get you. Yeah, we don't want people to be too alienated from the ability. It's just like we're trying to avoid using that much blood so we don't like have to do a second version for China because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like I, I think they said it like for models but I think the same thing is going to apply for particle effects as well so they're going to want a low violence version from them as well unless they already have the red in the China version for his Q so then we'll be fine no no they don't actually like is it, they, no is it they, green? They, it's not even green like most of his effects and everything that has to do with blood is just taken out like oh, he really? literally had yeah, like his OT is basically, I don't know what it was actually, like it, it almost had nothing on there. Like all of his ability stuff you can barely see. Oh well. There's that. Should we show him something else or should we keep all the other awesome stuff a secret for now? Uh, what other stuff are you talking about? I don't know, secret stuff. I don't know, maybe we can show the CK. If they, if that's or oh, that one. oh, the CK. Well, we're gonna wait on the CK, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So here's a texture. Uh, you guys can't see it in game, of course, yet, because we haven't updated those things out. But you can clearly see the urn and the Heratrask. If you choose that on uh, on his back for the style, or if you choose the hand of Midas. Uh, oh crap! Where is it? There we go. Add that, and then there's the hand of Midas, right? So of course in game it'll have materials, uh, specular, rim lighting, all, all that good stuff, but it's just the color pads on it. And the atoms themselves actually still require uh, some polish work. I haven't really had the time to jump back onto this guy and finish the textures. Yeah. We got so far for him. Uh, Narco, try with uh, Notepad++. It's uh, pretty robust and, you know, it's good. 
if you're if you're just like doing like small code and stuff like that, it, it should do the trick. Or Sublime, that's also popular. But if you want stuff for compiling, uh, I can't really tell you about that stuff all that much. I haven't really done much work in that area, but you know. Well, we're hoping, well, I, I guess so. We're aiming for Source 2. I don't think we're gonna make the deadline for the 20 whatever March with this one. Uh, my, I mean May. Yes, that is barbecue sauce. It's not actually blood, if China asks. Of course. Or Sue, I'm fair in May. Yeah, we have no idea when that's happening. It's on Valve time, so that means anywhere between like tomorrow and in two years, so. Enjoy. Alright, let's continue here with the hair. Got a nice preview of some Life Stealer stuff. You stoop. If I can say your name. Stupefactivex. Wow. Yeah, no plus 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 is amazing. Please use it, and uh, it also has a very nice some very nice features. Uh, the languages, um, like there's even a language for QC you can download and install. So it actually like gives you all of these things, which is very very nice. Uh, where is it? Do I still have Legion Commander open? Oh yeah, yes I do. So like say Moto, I have it close down like all of this is like all of the say controllers for her facial marks and her expressions and stuff like that you can just click on that and just close it down 
and have it out of the way. You know? Messed up, everything is like color coded and uh, like when you highlight something, it actually like shows you anything with the same name everywhere in the file. Like, very nice to find stuff. It's, it's generally a very good program and it's free. Is that Notepad? It's free. Yeah, uh, Notepad++ and it gets updates quite often and it's just a good program to use. I think I, <laughs> I think you know that you have to know how to type for programming. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, knowing, your, <laughs> knowing your alphabet is very useful, actually. You know? <laughs> We'd love to do that. No, I guess it. I did Twitch chat. No, I mean the the TI five cosmetics that we should do them. I mean, I'm all up, up for that. <laughs> If Valve is watching, we're here. Uh, we know you guys don't have time, so. Um, oh, you, you mean know. our hero bundles? Yeah. <laughs> like someone is in chat saying, like, we should do the TI5 like, immortals. That'd be so cool. I mean, we're open for it. I mean, Valve just uh, hit us up, guys. So, we're totally, totally done, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> smooth. Smooth, right? Very smooth. Very smooth. <laughs> I mean, you know who the artist is that did their Arcana comics? Uh, no, actually, I don't. Yeah, that's People jump in and out of the Dota 2 team uh, quite often, so. That is a very good question, actually. I want to know, too. It's a very interesting style. I think like the the Crystal Maiden uh, like Death Stare was on uh, Rare for quite a while. Like how she she pretty much like looked like as insane as the Joker on one of the shots. Sherman, thank you for the follow, dude. First time here? I go to sleep, open my eyes, I'm looking down. Whenever you're calling, baby, you know I turn around. I see your face, but not one sound. Whatever is calling, baby, you know I turn around.
Did you see the post that Gavin made asking uh, Reddit PC Astro Race to vote for the Seattle race car for the League of Sacker Race? He said that make a little meet together if enough people want to come and hang out with Gava and a bunch of Valve people. Oh, cool. No, I, I don't really read Reddit, to be honest. Usually uh, people like link me a whole bunch of Reddit stuff and sometimes it's really cool stuff. But yeah, I don't go out of my way to go read Reddit. You think we should make custom animation items for Arcana Heroes? It's making it hard to decide for you guys. Are you talking about for our sets? We're making special animations for our sets. And they go along with the Arcana, so you don't actually have to choose, and you just have to buy our sets. <laughs> What's up, Demu? Very smooth. I won today's games, the guy that kept asking me for the track. Oh, dude, is that you? <laughs> dude, you're being so mean to me before you realized it was me. <laughs> 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 Jesus. Got some serious fans there, Manny. Yeah. And he wanted he wants a Lish Track model. And Lish Track uh Lish Track is released, but yeah, we just haven't really thought of any ideas for him yet. But he's a pretty cool hero. It's fun to make a set for him. I'll have to think about it, man. <laughs> Laguna Sec is in California, it's a uh, popular speedway. Uh, yeah, see, we're, earlier we were talking about we're like we're not really crazy car people, but yeah, I have no idea about that. It sounds cool though. Go so, uh, hang out with Gabe. Our Lord Gabe. Lord and Savior. <laughs> Lord Gabe. <laughs> that shit like, cracks me up, man. Uh... I would love to hear his take on it, how, you know, like, does he think it's hilarious? I hope so. <laughs> Not really, you told me my life stealer sucked. Dude, you said that I sucked in every single one of those games. And I, I, I mean, the truth of it is, I mean, everybody has bad games, right? I'm sure I had a couple of bad games. That being said, though, uh, if you have a carry that is squishy and you don't get the right people stunning for you to get those initial kills so that you can snowball and, you know, and actually be productive as a, as a carry or semi carry. You're gonna have a really, really tough time, and that the two or three of those games were like that, man. So there's nothing I could have done about it, and it was bad. And then, uh, and we had really good games after that, actually. Check this out, man. Shit. Past couple of days, or I guess three, four days, whatever. I didn't really play a lot. Uh, where's my screenshot? Underneath there, dude. Like, my board usually does not look anything like this, <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out there. But lately, uh, yeah, a lo lot of wins, man, it's been going pretty good. Pretty good Dota lately. And also... Had a pretty sick Slark game the other day. Where's it at? There he is, 31 and 4. That's crazy, and see, like, we had really good stunts with Vengeful and Lina. And I can go in there and chase and then back away and I would escape with like tiny health and really bounce around and have them running about. 
Uh, so I mean that that's that's when you really shine and we actually be productive as a semi carry. Uh, but the games that we played, man, dude, I was getting none of that help, and I was I was just getting killed. It's like I mean you can kill him pretty easy early, and if he doesn't, you know, if, it'll take a long time for him to catch up, and just we never get the chance to catch up. Throw a base back on the screen here. There's a little frozen there for a sec. Oh, that's fine. Bringing some shit. My MMR? Oh, dude, see, like, before that screen, I got... God, what was it? I think, like, seven losses in a row before... Uh, that was, like, a couple weeks ago. Maybe three weeks ago. It was just, like, the worst string of games I've ever been with. And we kept getting matched up with either disconnects or techies or people that just chose the hero they wanted to play instead of choosing something that would work with the team. So everybody should like run like four carries and I'm like guys like what the hell like I had like either Slark or Void already selected at the beginning and everybody else picks carries. So I'm like alright well I guess I'll support for you guys. So then I'm supporting a lot of those games and as I'm supporting these guys are just dying and dying. it was really bad. It was a really bad, really bad string of Dota games. So I used to be at 3300 MMR and then it brought me all the way down to like 2700. So right now I'm my way back to 3000, so I think I'm at 2850 or 2900 again. That's on solo. So. Luck of the draw, I guess. Lost 15 in a row, holy shit dude! I think I have, I think my highest loss streak is I think 13. And dude, I was like, I'm honest, I hate this fucking game, you know, <laughs> but actually when you lose, you actually want to play more, you know, because you, you want to get back to that. When you win a whole bunch, you're like, eh, you know, I don't know, you don't feel the, the Dota itch. At least I don't. Alright, let's finish blocking in some of these things. These are still pretty, pretty early in the subdivision. So. We'll probably want to put another one in here somewhere. Let's go right here. And then when we do the LOD 0, when you zoom in, we'll be able to add polygons. So when we uh, go in here, we'll make this part a little bit uh, skinnier. So we'll add some edge loops and uh, make that part kind of uh, look tighter because of the little leather strap. And we'll have more definition for, uh, for these hair pieces. And we're saying maybe like the ones closer to the end bids would be thicker because they got more leather strap and uh, running uh, multiple times around the hair. Or they got tied up. And another thing we can do if we want to get really nice and detailed is put a little polygon with an alpha on it of like the end of the of the leather when it, where it got tied up. But we'll call that a stretch goal. Kind of went the wrong direction there. That's okay. I'm gonna bring it back up this way. Good. Good. All right. Lasted for three days. Oh shit, dude. I mean, I know that, I mean, I was at 13, so it's like, I'm right up there with you on, on like, lost streaks. And it's like, fuck this game, like, you, you almost think, like, they are putting you with, like, shitty people on purpose. Because it just happened Dang. so many times in a row. And I don't know if it's because we're playing so late, you know, like, a couple of games after we finished working. Or, or maybe you have to play earlier in the day. I, I don't know, man, it was, it was rough. But at least I recovered. I have a whole page of wins, which is nice. Crazy uh, Snake losing streak was seven. That's not too bad. 
worst thing is like when you're actually like winning and then the servers crap out and the game doesn't actually count. Do that, that or you like... get or you, uh, this happened to me on the, during the, one of those streaks. One of our guys dropped that like we were wrecking, right? And we lost our what was it? I think it was our Ember Spirit. And the other team came back and won. And we, like we had that game. And that's just so demoralizing. I don't know, I've been doing like the All Heroes Challenge lately, and oh, yeah, it's not that bad actually, like the, the worst thing uh, was with Death Prophet, and that was only because I was, I, I kept getting horrible teammates, that just, either just fed, or no one wanted to play support, and then, like everyone just like picked five carries, so that was fun. It makes you wonder how you were like, I mean, we're not, we're not shitty players. But how does the MMR work where you get lined up with people that just don't know no sh like shit all? <laughs> like, how is that? How are we on the same MMR? I don't get it sometimes. And during those losses, it just makes you question it more and just be like, what the fuck? The last game we played, uh, the Mule. Yeah, I was uh, I was actually supporting because everybody like went ahead and ignored what everybody had selected on there and picked whatever the fuck they wanted. I was like, all right, I guess I'll support for you guys so we have a better chance of winning because I actually care about it. So I went Sand King, and yeah, we uh, we beat you guys. You were a Viper, I believe, the Mule. And we were moving around really good in that, that game. Yeah, man, I hear you. MMR can account for human behavior. <laughs> During that streak of like shittiness, I also got like some of the biggest douchebags I've ever encountered in any Dota game. Oh, this one yeah. guy, let me tell you what this guy did. He was Void and we had a Legion Commander. I don't know if you were in, our, in that game with us, the Mule. It was ridiculous though. So Void is trying to farm somewhere. And I guess Legion Commander was like walking by. I know every now and then somebody's walking by and they're like, and they take your last hit and they're like, ha ha ha, you know? So I guess Legion Commander did that. I didn't even see it happen, right? But I mean, Void went on for it for like 45 minutes. Uh, so he did that and Void just lost his shit. He just fucking lost it. He started digging into LC, like just cussing her out. And then he's like, all right, fuck this, I'm quitting. And he stopped doing anything team oriented and just stayed in the jungle. We're pinging, you know, we're fighting, we're team fighting. Doesn't did not use a chrono for you know that entire time. Just give up. And he was like teaching Legion Commander a lesson. So he she never does that again to anybody else. And we're like, dude, like you're being the biggest douchebag ever. And he's like, well what about Legion Commander? It's like, dude, he's told one hit. You're acting like she cut your fucking arm off. And not only that, but you're screwing over three other people instead of just screwing up the one. You're really screwing up more people because you're being selfish. And, you know, like, when you try to talk sense into somebody that does that kind of bullshit, it's like talking to the wall. So we're like, okay guys, just forget it, there's no... There's no... There's no speaking to this human. I mean, it's just... It's fucking douche. Douchebag is the universal Dude, language. you wouldn't believe it. Uh, I play in the lower, like, air bar bracket, so I've seen worse. <laughs> like a force, like a force stack on my team of fucking idiots. This, this was like three just... minutes in. Yeah. Three minutes, <laughs> and he just lost his shit. He took one last hit from him, and he laughed, and, it, and he lost it. Like he's six years old. <laughs> hey, he could have been. You never know. No, dude. He said he was thirty. Um... And we're like, dude, this just makes it even more sad that you're acting like this. You're thirty years <laughs> old, and this is how you act. Fuck. <laughs> Respect your elders. Oh my god. That's amazing. It was unbelievable. I wish I had been streaming that shit. Would have been pretty funny. That's the other thing, like, once you tell them, like, oh, this, uh, I'm streaming right now, or, like, uh, this is going up on YouTube, they suddenly, like, all of them just become super friendly and, like, I wonder. apologetic, and, and they start playing good. Yeah, not even kidding, Oh, well, dude, think... the mule wasn't that game with me. Oh, right, really? the mule? Wasn't nice. that boy just being a complete child? 
And I was trying to actually be nice at the beginning, even though he was just cussing this person out. I was like, dude, like, we're, you're screwing out three other people, not just the void. Just forget what he did and let's work as a team. And he was like, nope. And he just would not do anything. <laughs> uh, I had a TA that uh, decided that uh, buying, uh, like, that upgrading her OT was pointless and that uh, she didn't need a blink dagger or a desolator. And oh, just went with Wait, powered... the Crystal Maiden had a Deso? No, 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 TA. Oh, oh, okay. So she just went with Chrysalis and Power Treads, which is two items you don't, like, rush on her ever. And zero traps, like, throughout the whole game, and then just Rage Quit. And I'm like, that's not how you play <laughs> TA. He's like, well, that failed. See you guys later. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, really? she didn't go mid, so she went top. And it's like, you guys know she's a mid hero. It's like, oh, no, it's okay, we're a team. And I'm like... Um, okay, but that's still, <laughs> that makes still, sense, I guess. <laughs> like Crystal Maiden and TA Top. Um, okay, I'm uh, just gonna look at how to use Rage Quit in, a five, in like five minutes, and yeah, sure, okay. Oh, yeah, so guess what happened? <laughs> yeah. I do not like the song at all, I'm singing it. Oh, you don't like 2005 Techno? Or House? Or whatever it was? No, really amazing kidding. songs here by Monster Cat, but some of them you're like, this is a little too much. Well, Monster Cat just licenses most of the stuff. I mean, it, it is a very big mix of different things, I guess. <laughs> oh, totally. So, there's everything to be found in there, I guess. Oh man, actually, I bet you I could load up the Dota game, like the replay of it, if I, I mean, God knows what the hell game that was, but... And you guys can see the text being written the whole time, because I don't think the guy had a mic. I can't remember if he had a mic or not, but I was mostly on mic. And then he just deteriorated to just everybody just cussing him out towards the end. <laughs> Even the other team, I think, was cussing him out, or maybe that was a different game. Actually, no, that, that, was, that was the Techies game. So I went on a oh. rant about how bad Techies was and how this guy chose Techies even though it would not help us out at all in a ranked game uh, with the heroes that we had on top of that. Uh, and yeah, just like, even the other team was actually cussing out the Techies and telling him that thank you for the 4 versus 5. <laughs> Fuckers. Fucking Techies. Oh, uh, I mean, I don't know. Like, s sometimes you can justify Techies, but it's very rare. Judas! Like it if you if you have like a team that's like orient like only strong till like mid game, and you can win till mid game, that's okay, right? But beyond uh, that, no. he, well, I mean, he, he holds out, you know, like he, he can hold the high ground fairly well. But the problem is that all every other single fight that happens with techies, he's not in it. So you're always four versus five in actual fights, not when you're attacking oh, yes. the tower or whatever. And I mean, those fights are the bread and like that's 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 Dota. Right? That's most of Dota. So well, not having a hero for all that is fucking ridiculous. Unless you're like hyper, hyper, like organized with your team and making techies actually work together with the other heroes. But you're never gonna get find that in a in a pub game. Well, so yeah, no, you should never fucking games. go techies in a in a no always not in a ranked game. game. That's ridiculous. Only if you're going team rank, then it's like okay. That's what I'm saying. Like only mm -hmm. if you have a team that's specified. Oh man, techies. it drives me crazy. Like, if you have a tiny and he's playing with the techies, then that's like okay, because he can toss people into the mines, you know? But even then, dude, I think that's like so... It's gonna be a rare thing that you actually land that, you know, during the, the match or during a fight. Like, fights happen oh. all over the map, you know? For you to centralize in one area, for that to happen, it's gonna happen maybe once in the game. Maybe twice. <sighs> Well, you haven't been playing with the teams I have, have you now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what's your MMR right now, man. Uh, I literally stopped playing rank because, uh, like, the people I was getting matched with, I just made me like quit off of ranking, uh, off of ranked. It's so bad. Like, I'm, we're playing. We lost versus Techies. Is that that's how bad the people I'm playing with are? Like, 
We I put a vision war. Dude, that is That's the it. worst when you lose it against the techies, like a team that has the techies I in put it. A, I put down a <laughs> vision like... war, and we can, dude, 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 dude. Like That's... enemy team has techies and budge, and I put down a sentry ward so we can see the techie mines. And I tell people, get out of there, Fudge is gonna hook you into the techie mines. People run into the techie mines. I'm like, no. what is wrong with you people? Yep. Many of you know uh, DI.FM, pretty nice choice of music, might want to check it out. Uh, I'll check it out, Narco. The thing is, uh, I actually have uh, a, D uh, well, not a deal, but uh, they opened up uh, the licensing for us for Monster Cat, so it doesn't mute or uh, mess up with our YouTube channel or our website videos, you know? So I don't know if the IFM would actually have that for us as well. Hey, uh, it's Humi. What up? Zero and 27 Oscar game, surprisingly enjoyable. You guys win? Yeah, the mule, I know what you're talking about. Um, and uh, we actually won a game with the Techies not long ago, and he was very aggressive, the Techies that we had. But, I mean, th that being said, we didn't win because of the Techies. We won because our rest of the team was actually winning the fights. And then at that point, when we're winning and we're snowballing, Techies kind of joins the, the, the team and is like, Hey, look, I'm throwing mines and we have them controlled. And now, wh whenever they try to come out and farm somewhere else from where our team is, because they can't team fight, they run into the mines. I mean, at that point, Techies not really doing shit. It was the team that won it. You know, at that point, an aggressive tech is just like, he's just fucking riding the wave, man. And yeah, I agree with that. Techies does uh, force the other team to invest into the wards and whatnot. But I mean, that compared to not having another player to stun at least, let alone do damage or be an active member during fights for the rest of the game, it's nowhere near worth it. What's something? <sighs> You're trying too hard for non-ranked games. <laughs> yeah, those are, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, when you're doing your hero challenge, that's when you jump on uh, you know, non-ranked stuff. But every now and then I'll be in a game and people are like, Oh, I'm randoming! And they random. And the other guy's like, Oh, I'm randoming too. And it's like, dude, you guys, you, this is ranked, right? You guys know we're playing ranked? Why Why the fuck would you random? The whole, yeah. the whole idea behind the Dota ranked is that you work as a team. When you random, you're just like, fuck you guys, uh, let's see if I can get some extra gold. The best, the best thing is like when someone randoms, then like, uh, like, like goes out of the random and then selects the same hero he just randomed. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that, dude. <laughs> I've seen that. We laugh so hard. He's like, he random anti mage, he cancels, and then he picks anti uh, anti mage, and we were just like, <laughs> I think it was a PA last time. <laughs> You know, one of the, my one of my biggest pet peeves because I'm actually a pretty decent nature's prophet, even though I haven't played him in a while. But he's one of my better heroes. Uh, when I see another nature's prophet, and he teleports to the high ground of the enemy's camps at the beginning, and he starts farming them from up there, shooting them. It's like, dude, that is such a failed strategy that just slows your farm down to a crawl, but you're safe. But it's like, that's like, oh man, and I see it quite often still. And it's like, dude, that's that is not a good strategy. You're gonna be so far behind. But a lot of, uh, I guess, newer players or lower ranked players think that you know it's great because they're safe and they won't get ganked. Like, dude, you can't play like that. You think they found the gold strategy where they're invincible, man? I know it's awful. A lot more polys there. All right, let's keep doing some more of this here. We've been talking a lot about dudes. Too much dude stock. More hats, please. 
would hurt again. Exactly. Catching in where our lines go. We'll go probably another two subdivisions and we'll make this stuff look really nice and crisp. But until then, it's just kind of locking them in, brushing the hair. Don't worry about them looking kind of rough. Fix that up. On the back, you'll never see, and it'll be way smaller UVs too, so I'll just kind of do these guys a little. A little bit fast. Er. You don't mind the first hero to random? Yeah, I mean, you're taking a pretty big risk though, Demio. Like, the if you first hero randoms and they're like, okay, can somebody else play this? What if nobody else can play that hero? You're putting yourself in a disadvantage right off the top. And instead of picking five heroes that actually work together really, really well, that people actually know how to play really, really well. I mean, that's, that's what every single ranked team game should go for. I mean, can you imagine? If you're watching a pro game and people could rank them, how stupid would that look? It's, it's the same thinking that you should be taking into ranked games, I feel. Oh my god, that would Work be amazing, as a team. bro. How awesome would that be? Like, everyone just randoms? Can you imagine? Like, you would never see that in, in, a, in a professional game, right? Same kind of no, thinking, man. Imagine the entertainment value, though. What's that? Imagine the entertainment value out of that, though. <laughs> like, no one has no clue what they're doing and they're like, top, top players of the world. Actually, imagine that, man. If there was a like, team that didn't give a fuck about winning, but they were just there to be like, funny and entertainment and do wacky stuff. I bet you they get a lot more people watching them than a lot of the other teams these days. Yeah, most likely. You know? Yeah. I'd watch. Totally. Me too, actually. Uh, let's see... You actually had a seabrush related question. Oh shit, alright, let's see. How do you deal when the... How do you deal with giant ass files? I know a big factor has to do with the history behind it, but I've never had some big files getting close to one gigabyte. Okay, so... Split your model up. So if you have a soldier that you're working on, and you have crazy amount of cloth on him that's... A lot, there's, you have a lot of subdivisions on it and you're doing zippers and all this crazy shit on it. Uh, separate your file so that you can lower the subdivision for the, all that cloth stuff to maybe a couple of levels so it goes away from the millions. And you then start doing the, your belt buckles and all that stuff on top of that and your straps into a new file. And then you decimate them and export them and then you pick them out separately or whatever, right? But that way you're working with your highest, uh, your highest definition for certain uh, uh, sections of your model or subtools. Uh, on different files. Good to go. Or just get 64 gigs of RAM like we do. <laughs> Practical. Yeah. I mean, 64 gigs of RAM isn't that expensive these days, I think. Is it? Like, it's like uh, 200 bucks or something. It's still a little bit of overkill, yeah. but... I just it don't want to deal with but... it, you know, again, be like, fuck it, you know, I'm good for a while. Yeah, same thing. Uh, I got 32 because that was the maximum for the laptop, but eh, you know, should should hold up for a while. Yeah, you're good. I'm probably like using a maximum of like 16, like at, at best, but might as well be secure for a while. 
Hey Wilson. No man, this is, we're doing the hair right now. Check it out. That would be like a very choice beard, wouldn't it? Actually, it's not bad for a beard. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's not bad. We can make... Just just give her a beard. It's fine. Just rip this out and put it on like a different model like a few months down the line. <laughs> At least the seabrush no, no, and then no. change it up. No. Just just rotate it uh, like 180 and put it on her face instead of the back of the head. Oh, on her? <laughs> yeah. Lord of the Rings? Yep. Uh, man, did you notice my question before about DIFM? Yes, I did. And I actually answered it, man. I said I wasn't sure if we have licenses for that, so it might mute our stream and give us issues on YouTube as well. So I'm not sure if we can actually use it because we actually have that deal with Mustercat. You thought we were in a necrobeard? No man, we already did a necrobeard. Way back in December. Oh my god. That beard looks awesome. Go check it out. Well, Alright well, guys, give it a thumbs up. Actually yeah, on that right there, uh, what is it? Vote SL12? Mm -hmm. Up on the screen right now. I guess we should change the link at some point. Or, or yeah, we're keeping it SL12 for now. Oh, yeah, I'll have to update it. We actually need to resubmit them all, actually, for next season. Uh, I guess so, right? So it can be reconsidered and stuff? No, uh, the percentages will change. Oh, yes, 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 of course, of course. Well, enjoy resubmitting all 22 items again. For the fourth time? <laughs> <laughs> They should really have a different system for that. Yeah, they should be able to like block them out. So you yeah. have to, you know? Yeah. Looking good. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Yeah, for uh, the, how few polygons there are in here, we're getting pretty good shapes. So then, uh, next subdivision, we can actually make these guys look a lot nicer and define, you know, the edges a little bit better and even more readable from a distance. It's more of a, a blocking right now. Like this up here is looking pretty nice. It's a little bit muddy down here. Needs need some work. Some of these guys to start joining together.
Do we think uh, Source 2 will be released before TI5? We're hoping. We're hoping, yeah, but we have no idea, man. And yeah, I mean, we would love to be able to do uh, all sorts of uh, effects this whole I mean, time. We but can do that. Yeah, we gotta. That's why we're kind of waiting for a bunch of our sets, so we can transfer them over to Source 2 whenever it gets released, and we actually put in all that, all the other effects, and uh, bring our sets out the way that they were designed with all, all the things in mind. You know, same with the hero bundles that we did for Star Ladder. Soon, TM. We play the waiting game. Yep. I don't have a choice. It'll be worth it. Oh yes, indeed. Like all the stuff that we can do with the Source 2 tools. All the scripts and stuff, like we can finally do some ability code and you know save up a little bit of work of implementation. We can do all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, we have a uh, we have a chest that we're working on actually the mule with life stealer blood seeker spirit breaker chaos knight storm spirit but possibly something else now oh well, still gonna be storm spirit no we might be doing that with uh, with ND actually oh really that that'll be sweet. Mm -hmm, I think so. So yeah, I, I'm gonna see if I can if I can work with that. I need to talk to some people about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we gotta see if that's not too crazy of an idea. But that would be awesome. I think, think everyone's gonna love that one. Yeah, yeah. Then they really like the the idea behind it too. Sweet. That's good to hear. Yeah, that CK is uh, like one of uh, my favorites that we've created so far. It's it looks it looks really really good in game. Uh, the textures really came out uh, from the bakes that we made. Like all that detail came through. Because we spent like a very good amount of time making sure the UVs were super optimized and uh, the right merits, the right things were married. So the resolution in our CK set are actually pretty 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 nice and noticeable. Pretty happy with it. Go ahead and change the direction of this hair strand a little bit. But if I crisscross every now and then, actually breaks it up. Want it to look too patterny.
and OBS is crashing. Let me oh, reset God. the stream, guys. We'll be back in like 10 seconds.